NordVPN has just released a new game because they know how much their impressionable audience love gaming. So they begin a stream, and if you missed it, it went something like this. The game loads in with Clone VPN's logo and a picture of a dark riggy. Being part of the Clone Saga created by Facility Technician of Fake Games for Evil Use and Vervian Lamau, Vervian Lamau, Vervian Lamau. And then we get to the game. The game on disc 1 seems fairly normal until we're told to insert disc 2 where the world becomes glitched and three familiar pictures pop up as tools in the player's kit. Dark Riggy, who we will believe to be Clone Riggy, walks over to the box where it seems the clones were being kept. But that can't be right. Because Joe never had a clone? We'll get back to that later. He then enters a glitched area where walking through into the darkness and then he says, I smell a rat. And then glitches out and the game ends. But that's not where it ends. Because we are brought to a loading screen with in some kind of familiar lab and then we get this warning sign and then a link to the final hour's date and link and then it ends. Given the fact that it's shot from Clone Riggy's perspective, it makes sense that it's in a video game-like style given the glitched aesthetic. We are seeing the world from a clone's point of view, which is a little concerning considering most games' objectives often overlook morals and tend to focus more on killing the enemy. So if this is from the clone's point of view, well, where are we? Well, when looking around, you can see this is actually an enclosed space, along with certain items that shouldn't be there, and hidden areas, along with a room that looks vaguely familiar. Why does it look so familiar? It's the cloning room. Yes, my friends, we are in Clone VPN's facility. The same facility where they run all their operations. The same facility where they began cloning. The same facility where they have kidnapped the creators. And if this wasn't enough evidence for you, how about the fact that it says facility at the beginning of the game? So we're stuck in the facility and we find profile pictures of the clones. But Joe never had a clone, right? Well, they tried. You see, in one of their earlier videos, they did try and make a clone, but couldn't get through to him. So that became a failed attempt. So my theory is that in this box are all the failed attempts of making a clone and they're just lying here and their code has been a bit scrapped for parts maybe then clone riggy goes over to the glitch wall clearly heading over to a location set further on but then they happen to run into a rat someone who's not meant to be in the facility is it johnny who said he was going to sneak in or is it clone pear finally turning against them or whoever it is they cause the game to glitch out and end. So could they have just been caught? Well, I don't think so. I think whoever the rat was, they won. They killed Clone Riggy. The game is set from Clone Riggy's perspective, so when it glitched out, it can be assumed that he has been knocked unconscious. So is this the end for Clone Riggy? Not exactly. The loading screen shows us back in the cloning room ready to make the clone replacement. I wasn't lying when they said they can be made over and over and over again, and I also have a theory that they are using old clone parts to remake them, to revive them, because the clone's bodies are more likely to fail, like Dano said in a previous video. And you might be asking, why do you know that this is clone Riggy? Well, I had a feeling that if you were the imposter and wanted to get away from the enemy as soon as possible, you'll most likely aim for the head in an attempt to knock them out. And judging how the game ended so abruptly, I'll say that it worked. So who shows up in their next YouTube short with a crack in their face? None other than Clone Riggy. So what does this prove? Well, the clones can be replaced repeatedly, but they don't know that. Clone Johnny even talks about himself as though he's the best version of the original Johnny, but he has no idea how quickly he can be replaced in the grand scheme of things, and Clone VPN wants it to stay this way. Clone VPN are willing to sacrifice their clones if it means that it helps them reach their goal, and that is precisely what they are planning to do, considering the fact that Clone Pair's last video is a day before the end of the final hours. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Please do subscribe and I'll see you guys 
in the next video. Bye!